Welcome to a Soul LV Life. Today is episode number 24 and it is utterly epic. <laughs> I had this huge, huge revelation driving home from work today and it blew my mind. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Yes? Okay, buckle up. I was listening to this book. It's called You're a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. And she gave this really funny scenario. She said, if you were a woman who lived in a shoe, you lived in a shoe, S-H-O-E, you know the, the old story of the woman living in the shoe? So if you were living in a shoe and you had 12 kids and you had $20,000 of debt and someone came up to you and asked you if you, you have been invited to have dinner with Oprah. <laughs> dinner with Oprah. Yeah. Would you say, let's say this woman is like really downtrodden and just so tired and uh, she's so depressed and she keeps focusing on how tough her life is and how hard it is to raise these 12 kids that just won't stop eating and uh, there's just so much to do. There's so much support. There is, uh, like she's working, she's finding all sorts of ways to kind of pay the bills and to feed them and to keep the house organized. And uh, she's just busy, really busy being mom and being the wife and the daughter and the sister. She's just, you know, really busy doing that stuff. And, and so she focuses on a lot about how tough, you know, how tough her life is. And someone goes up to her and asks her, and asks her, hey, you've been invited. Would you like to have dinner with Oprah? <laughs> it's going to be on this date. It's going to be in this city. Are you going to, what do you think? Would she say, would she say, would she say, you know, I, I would love to, but I don't know how it's going to, how I'm going to make it work. I mean, I don't have any money, um, I'm so busy. I have to help take care of these 12 kids. I mean, there's 12 kids. That's a lot of kids. And that's a lot of mouths to feed. That's a lot of stuff to do. Like, I'm so busy. I have all this laundry to do. I mean, these kids, they, they I have to help give them baths and I have to take care of the house. I mean, that shoe, it's like, it's like a, it's a big chore to really take care of the shoe. You know, it's like, there's a lot of stuff in there. It's a lot of crevices. There's a lot of rooms in there. Like, yeah, it's a lot of work. Like, would she say that? <laughs> or would she go, or would she say, oh my gosh, did you say dinner with Oprah? Because if you said dinner with Oprah, the Oprah, then I'm going to find a way to make it work. I'm going to, I'm going to call on the cosmos. I'm going to sell the shoe. I'm going to sell everything inside of the shoe. I'm going to sell all the stuff that I don't need. I'm going to ask for help. I'm going to call on the power of the multiverse. I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to find an extra job. I'm going to start selling my services. I'm going to do all sorts of stuff to generate the freaking money so that I can have the flight and the clothes and the shoes to have an appropriate dinner with Oprah. It's Oprah for crying out loud. Oprah. <laughs> do you see See the ridiculousness of this story like I was listening to this story and I kind of added my own spices there she didn't say Oprah and stuff like that but she said uh, some you know some story about the woman living the shoe that's so busy feeling sorry for herself and so I added the part about Oprah and stuff like that but can you see how ridiculous this is like how ridiculous is it that she would actually even think about not having dinner with Oprah because She's so caught up in her worries and her duties and the things that she feels like she needs to do as a mom and as a mother and as a, a mom and a mother, which is the same thing, um, as a wife, as a daughter, as a sister. Like She's so busy living for other people that she is not living for herself. She's not living in the present, in this opportunity, this crazy realm to have dinner with Oprah like can you imagine how crazy that is that's like that's how like like that's like insane that is like obscenely insane 
right? If you said, hey, mom, I someone invited me to have dinner with Oprah, but I'm, um... I'm gonna say no because I'm, I, who's gonna watch the kids? I'm so busy and I have all this stuff to do and I don't have any money. I have $20,000. I mean, I have $20,000 in credit card bills. We have the mortgage to pay. Like, there's no way. I don't have any room. I don't have any room to like afford to have dinner with Oprah. <laughs> her mom would slap her across the face and ask her if she was crazy and if, there was anything she could do to help her get to her goal to have dinner with Oprah. Right? Right? Yeah. Your husband would say, you, you want to have dinner with Oprah? You want to have a dinner with the Oprah? Do you want me to watch the kids? Like, what, what can I do to help? Like, do you need me to do some chores or do something so that you can free up some time to generate some money and find some money or something, manifest some money so that you can... Go have dinner with Oprah. <laughs> and now, and this this story is so profound, and it bleeds into every aspect of our life. Like, like I'm so busy living, uh, I'm so busy working this job, right? That doesn't light me up. I'm so busy listening to my chatter. I'm so busy mothering. I'm so busy being the daughter. I'm so busy being the wife, and. And I'm so scared, right? I'm so scared. And so you can focus all your energy on being really worried or you can focus all your energy on something else. And whatever you focus your energy on, you create more of. So if you focus, like, you, like you're, you're so worried about how much debt you have, you're so worried about how you're going to feed the kids, you're so worried about the life you're living that is not meaningful, then you are going to keep generating more and more and more of that, right? So if you if you decide that I'm not going to focus on those things, I'm I, I get to live in a shoe. Who can say they get to live in a shoe, right? That's crazy. I'm I'm so lucky. I live in a shoe. People they don't they want to have one kid. They don't they can't have one kid. I have twelve kids. I have twelve beautiful blessing kids. And sometimes they're a total pain in the butt, but other times, like, I'm so grateful for the kids. You know, and you can focus on, I am going to find a way. I believe in myself. I'm going to figure out a way to pay up all this debt, and I'm going to raise these kids to be amazing people, and I'm going to be a badass at the same time. A total badass. And when I say badass, I really feel what a badass I am. I am badassery walking. I'm the manifestation of badassery. <laughs> if you felt into that manifestation and you felt into that life and you start operating from that vibrational frequency and you start acting and operating in an, an obs obscenely obscene way of being, your quality of life changes. Your The way that you think changes. The vibrational frequency from which you're operating is insane. <laughs> is obscenely insane. Right? The money that you generate will be insane because you are no longer operating from that place of, whoa, it's me. I am so pathetic and I'm so depressed. I'm so sad and... Uh, gosh, like life really, really sucks. You know, I don't, I'm just one day closer to death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You can live that life, but that seems like a waste of your lifetime. I know you didn't come here to live that life. And, um, <laughs> I was just thinking, I had a coach call with my coach yesterday and Today, I felt really off. You know, something was really off. I'm like, something is off. There's something I'm not getting here. <laughs> There's something I'm not mastering. And what I realized was, one, you got to operate outside of your comfort zone to have some massive transformation and to live an insane, obscenely insane life. <laughs> you exchange insane amounts of energy <laughs> because you don't live from a place of logic and reason you live from a place of obscene insanity 
You're living in a realm that you don't know about. And once you, like, live into that realm, it won't feel like insane, insanity, obscene, insanity, insanity anymore. But until you, like, even get there, you know, like, it's, it's, like, it's not something you can truly fathom. Like, you can't possibly fathom sitting down and having dinner with Oprah. Right? And I, uh, I decided I was going to be, and I will be, a kick-ass coach. I live a so elevated life, and I am a kick-ass coach. And if I have dinner with Oprah, and I will have dinner with Oprah, mark my words, I'm having dinner with Oprah, I decided. I, I declared it out to existence today that I'm going to have dinner with Oprah. And when I have dinner with Oprah, we are going to walk away having deep, meaningful, powerful conversations that even I added value to Oprah. Because you know what a badass powerhouse Oprah is. So if I can add value to our conversation and she walks away from an empowered spot, even more empowered than she already is, and she has even more enlightenment than she already does, that is the kind of coach I am. That's pretty crazy. That's what I decided today. That's what's lighting me up right now. This is why I'm exuding this obscenely, insanely crazy amount of energy. Because I'm going to have dinner with Oprah. And we are going to have some deep, meaningful, powerful, epic, hilarious conversations. And I will share with you what we talked about and what we walked away with and how powerful it was. <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready to hear about my dinner with Oprah? Because I'm going to have dinner with Oprah. So that's, that is my challenge to you. My challenge to you is when you, um, you know, like you, hey, Julie, <laughs> I'm going on a rant about having lunch and dinner with Oprah. Um, so my challenge to you is, you know, what areas of your life where you are merely existing and you are just... Um, you know, you're just scraping by, you're just doing the bare minimum, you are operating from a really low vibe, and you just, you don't love it, and you are, you are just merely existing, you know, it's not like this life that you know you came here to live, it's not like this powerhouse, badass life, it's, it's lacking in so many ways, there's no freedom, there's no financial freedom, there's no life fulfillment, or it comes and goes, there's not these deep, powerful conversations, like, there is something seriously off and seriously missing, like, seriously, very, very seriously, and if you feel like that is the case, then it's time, it's time for you to make a change, it's time for you to operate from a sense of, yes, I'm going to have dinner with Oprah, <laughs> And we're going to have massive, powerful, deep conversations. And we might sing together. We might sing the surrender song that she talked about before when she was talking to Larry King. We might quote the movie The Color Purple. We might talk about all the awesome writers and all the poetry. And we might dance. We might do karaoke. We might have incredible, epic conversations she, we might talk about the next project we're going to do together to elevate humanity and to better our planet, to leave this incredible legacy and dynasty for generations and generations and generations to come. Right? If you operate from that vibrational frequency and you operate on that channel, I promise you, your quality of life will change drastically. You'll be so lit up. You'll be on edge. You'll be operating way, 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 way outside your comfort zone. <laughs> and you'll be so alive. You'll be utterly, epically alive. You would sing at your whim and you would dance crazy dances. You would have a blast when you go see Beyonce and Jay-Z and you get all this meaning and you see like how they command the crowd and how they... Uh, really harness this amazing epic energy and you're there to learn it and harness it yourself because you know that you too are going to master an audience of that size. <laughs> that is how bold 
of a life that you're going to live. Does that give you, does that give you chills? Does that give you goosebumps? Are you listening to the shivers? Are you listening to the signs that the multiverse, the heavenly father, our God is giving you? Then live it. Go live that kind of life. And if you have no idea, you're like, okay, Tuan, whatever you're talking about, this little whatever, like whatever tangent you're going off of and you're like way out in la la land, whatever you have, that thing that you're, you're doing right here, I want that. What is that? I want that. I want that. What is that? I want that. I want that. You desire it. You don't want it because want means that you lack it. You desire it means that it is of your, It is of the Father. You are meant to have it. If you desire it, it's from your very heart. It's from your very soul. It's from your very core. Then that is who you are. That is who you truly, truly are. So here's the thing, my beautiful ladies, my badass ladies, and yes, I'm talking to you, even if you don't believe that you're a badass, because you really are, I truly believe you're a badass, and you probably don't think you are, but I'm telling you, you are a badass, and if you don't know that you're a badass, then let's get you there, so that you can actually start believing that you are a, ba a ba total, total badass. So you're this badass, right, and you don't know you're a badass. <laughs> That is where hiring a coach comes in. That is the power of having a coach that charges insane, an insane, obscenely insane amount of money. Insane, people, insane. And you're thinking, if I'm going to spend that kind of money to hire that crazy coach, then I am going to have some massive transformation because that is how strong and powerful my intent is. I mean business. When I pay money to hire that crazy, insane coach, I'm going to have some massive transformation and I'm going to have some, take some massive action and I'm going to do some massive, crazy things, insane things because I am going to have dinner with Oprah and I'm going to command a audience and a crowd like Jay-Z and Beyonce and I am going to live this utterly soul-bearing, soul-elevating life and this lifetime that I'm living is going to be the equivalent of two lifetimes. Two lifetimes. How insane and crazy is that? So, if you have no idea how the heck to access what it is that I keep blabbering on about, that's where I come in. That is what a coach does for you. That is what I do for you. I help you access all that stuff that's within you. I help you access crazy amounts of energy that you don't know. I help you access crazy amounts of focus and intention that you had no idea you had, no earthly idea that it exists within you. I help you access all your desires, which is your stuff that is you have already inherited, the stuff that really belongs to you, because that's why it's in your heart's desire. You are meant to have it. You already have it. It already exists. You just haven't you just haven't turned on the switch and you haven't you know turned the key to the lock to the vault and when I have dinner with Oprah I will invite you to come have dinner with us and ask Oprah hey Oprah is it okay if my friend comes and have dinner with us too <laughs> is it okay if I bring a friend this awesome amazing badass woman I like to bring her too is that cool and you know Oprah, she's incredibly generous. Of course she would say yes. And um, so you hire a coach and you start living a soul-elevated life. You start having massive, massive transformation. You start operating at an obscenely insane level, like out of this world. You are a powerhouse. You are a force to be reckoned with. You are a crazy woman. The line between a genius and insanity Right? It doesn't matter what the world thinks. It matters like you are living that life that lights you up because it's insane. It doesn't have to be rational. It doesn't have to make sense. It's just insane. And you're living in utter, total freedom. Freedom in how you live your life. Freedom in the dream environments and surroundings that you wish to live in. Freedom in every aspect financially. Just complete, utter freedom. Can you close your eyes and imagine this kind of freedom? Can you imagine it graphically, this kind of freedom? 
Like, can you feel into this kind of freedom? Like, how insane it is? How crazy it feels? And how freeing it feels? And how it is meant for you? You are born of royalty, of this royal lineage that you keep denying yourself. So, my friends... Today is the 24th episode of A Soul Elevated Life, and I was listening to some old videos and some old memos I recorded, and oh my gosh, I was listening to my voice, and it was it was so soft and so non-expressive. It was barely alive, and uh, I've tapped into something, my friends. I've tapped into a way to live a soul elevated life, and I tapped into a vibrational frequency of how you can access all of it, all of your financial freedom, all of it. And it starts with hiring a coach. And if you're not quite there yet, there is the mini course that I'm offering. It is, I'll post a link below. It is talking, it's gonna share with you all my secrets on my daily manifestations, my daily meditation practice, which I have started meditating since I was 13. So you're getting 26 years of experience as far as meditation goes. And you get to learn about how you can follow the trigger brick road. You know how when Dorothy and the lion and the scarecrow and the, the, the tin man and Toto, right? So they go down the yellow brick road. And then she gets to Emerald City and she discovers the wizard behind the curtain, right? Only it turns out that the wizard behind the curtain is a five-year-old kid. That is you. Your five-year-old version behind that curtain operating everything. All the scariness, all the fears, all that stuff. That's what following the yellow, that's what following the trigger brick road does. It helps you access all those subconscious limiting beliefs that you've held on to since you were five years old and you didn't even realize they exist. You didn't even realize you had them. But I tell you about all the secrets about how you can dig into them and how you can find them. And uh, this mini course is amazing. And I'm only charging you $97 for it. Total steal. And I'm going to keep doing better versions of it, and the price is going to keep going up. But in the meantime, take the course. It's well worth the $97, a lot more actually. And you can email me, text me, send me messages on once you write them and how you start doing them. And we can troubleshoot together so I can really tweak it with you and give you a lot of feedback about how you can write your perfect manifestations, how to truly dig into follow your triggers and how to have an amazing meditation practice that truly feeds your soul so that you are exuding the kind of energy and spirit that people desire and and they and you remind them that that also exists within themselves and they choose to have that that is something that you have that they resonate with and that's something that reminds them of who they truly are Yes, Austin is home from school. Um, and then, my YouTube channel, I upload the videos every night. So if you are not much of a Facebook person, and you'd rather watch my videos on, face on YouTube, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can watch all my videos there. And uh, last but not least, if you want to have like a brief overview of the 11 steps you can take to live a soul elevated life, you can go to my website, soulelevatedlife.com, and you can subscribe. You type in your name, it sends you an email confirmation, and then I email you this beautiful PDF file that I made that tells you the 11 actions you can take to live a soul elevated life. It's completely free. And um, you can post it next to your computer or your mirror, and then you can say, okay, these are the steps I'm going to take every single day so I can live a soul elevated life. And so that's kind of like some freemium, some things you can do to kind of start getting on your way to living that life that's really deep and powerful and meaningful. And then, of course, if you would like to hire me as your coach and pay insane, obscenely insane amount of money to show how serious your intention is about, about your transformation, about you living that soul elevated life, for you to live that utterly, epically transformed life the one that will end up having dinner with Oprah, uh, then uh, go to my website, soulelevatedlife.com, 
and you can uh, look into how to hire me as a coach. You can send me an email, you can send me a message, you can text me, whatever it is, your mode of transfer, trans, whatever your mode of communication is. I don't care how you get to me, just get to me. So, send yourself through your telephone line, catch the hitch a ride on the back of a butterfly, uh, catch a plane that comes in sideways, or a roller coaster that comes in sideways. Uh, get on the highway that comes in my way. Yeah, <laughs> I forget. But the song is called Get To Me by Train. And, um, yeah, whatever mode of, transfer, uh, mode of communication that you choose to have or use, get to me. Send your message to me. I will receive it. You can send me a message through the pigeons. You know, the pigeons can send messages out. <laughs> um... Where was I going with this? Yes, so you have all those options to access me. And, uh, oh, and if you follow my page, Soul Elevate Life, on Facebook, you can like and follow me. And you can set to see me first so that you never miss any of my content. And I promise I will always blow your mind. And I never waste your time with any stuff that doesn't serve you. I might make you laugh and cry even. Uh, but you always leave... Uh, our conversations with a some nourishment for your soul and some empowerment for your mind and your mindset and some really useful tools to live a fulfilling life. So here's to you living a soul elevated life and I look forward to having dinner with you with Oprah. <laughs>